Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to make this cute candy corn in a jar card, and we're going to be using this two stamps from May May Made It. One is called Jar of Fun, and um, I've never used this before, so we're going to use that jar, and also it has a cute little lid on it. And I'm also going to use, it's all about the candy, and that's from the Country Pumpkin Stamp Set. I'm also going to be using the candy corn from the Country Pumpkin Stamp Set as well. So, let's get started. I'm going to start by stamping out my jar. And my block is a little bit too small. It's not wide enough for this jar, but I'm going to still make it work. And so if it doesn't come out the first time, I'll just do it again. And so I am using the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Black Soot. And so I'm going to really try to stamp this out real good on the first try. So I guess I'm going to need to get a wider block. I think we got that inked up really well. And let's see if this works on the first try. I'm not used to using these larger images. And it worked. Okay, great. So I'm going to just put that aside because we're going to end up cutting that image out. Now I'm going to need some candy corns for this. And so I'm going to end up stamping out 16 candy corns. That's a lot of fussy cutting, but I love this card and it's so well worth it. It's going to be a lot of coloring with my Copics. And I'm going to go ahead and color those in my candy corn colors. Try to color within the lines there. Okay, so all of my candy corns are colored in, but I want to add one little detail to it. I did this in another video and I really liked it, um, where I just take my white jelly roll gel pen and I just make little dots along the sides just to give it a little bit more. And you don't have to do it, I just, I just like the way it looks. But if you want, you can go across the bottom, you can go across the um, black line. It's up to you. Okay, and there are the 16 candy corns all ready to be cut out. Now I'm gonna be fussy cutting these and um, I'm not going to cut right on the line because I just want it to have a little bit of a white outer edge. So I'm just going barely around the edge there. For some reason I just like that little bit of a white border around it. And I will list all of the colors I use for this card below, as well as all of the measurements. So all of our candy corn are cut out. And I went ahead and cut out our jar. And I just wanted it to have just a little bit of definition 
around that top area where the lid would be. And so I'm just going to use my gray. And you don't have to do this. You could leave it as is, but I just wanted to give it just a little bit more. I'm just tracing over the line that's already there. And that just gives it just a little bit of definition. And this is going to be mounted on the card as long as well as some of the candy corns. Now let's go ahead and work on our lid. This is so cute, this stamp. And what I'm going to do is I'm just leaving just a little bit of space. I'm not connecting it exactly. I'm leaving just a tiny bit of space right in between. Just barely right in between my lid. Let me get that lined up. Just a little bit of space. And I'll show you how we're going to close that up. I'm just going to stamp those together. I love the detail on this stamp. I think it's so cute with little pleats in there. And so what I'm going to do is Just stamp it on here. And I wanted my jar to just have a little bit of an area in between here. And I'm just going to color that in so it looks like it's connected. And I'm just going to color it right in. Looks like it's connected. And then I thought I'd use this uh, kind of a purplish lavender, kind of a lilac um, copic. And I'm going to color my top in here. Then I'm going to go along the bottom and use this green. I just thought that these colors would go really well together. So with the green, I'm just going to make a few. I thought some polka dots would be fun. I'm just making some polka dots randomly. I'm going to take my lavender color again, or lilac I should say, and I am going to just kind of color in around it, around my little dots. It's just easy to put the dots on there first and then go back in around it. I'm 
I'm just taking my time going around here. Just want this to be a little bit deeper, so I'm just going to go back in again. And make that deeper. That's the nice thing about Copics is you can go back and layer it and make it darker if you want. And this is a violet color, and I'm going to use this and just make a little bit of an outline here. trying to stay within the line because I'm going to go and color that in. Well, I'm going to be cutting this out so I don't want to be, I want to try to stay within the line but I want it to have a little white border. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trace this around. Give it a little bit. That way the pleats stand out just a little bit more. And I'm just using the line that's already there. looks really good, very well defined, but I need to add something else. So I'm going to take my favorite, my white gel pen, and just right around the outer part of my green circle, Just making an outline. Just adding that little bit of detail makes it pop just a little bit more. Look how cute that is. And I'm also going to make couple of dots right along here. Add some more definition. And you can make this as plain or as fancy as you want. Okay, and now it's time to cut this out because this is also going to be mounted on our card. looks so cute it actually reminds me of a hat so for those of you that want to use this as a hat you can I know it's supposed to be a lid but it also looks like a hat to me okay so now we have got more pieces here add to our card and but before we start putting those on the card we're gonna have a white base and this is where we're gonna mount all of our stamps and so this needs a border on it so I'm gonna make my own border using some of the colors that we already have I'm going to take that lavender or lilac I'll list everything below the correct colors and I'm going to go ahead and just 
make a little bit of a border right around the side here. Because I want everything to kind of match the colors that I'm using. Just lightly going along the edge there. And if you don't have a border that perfectly matches, you just make your own. There's no rules when you're creating. Okay, and I'm going to just kind of come up a little bit on this border. Just a little bit. make my own little artwork. Okay, and so we're going to just keep building on that color and adding more to it. And so I'm going to use some of that green. I'll take the green and maybe fill it in here. Just in between each one. And notice I'm not being real neat with it. Just kind of having fun. And that will bring in some of the green from this. Just building a pattern there. And now I need some yellow. And I'm just going right around here to fill it in the yellow and that'll bring out some of the colors in that candy corn. And as you can see that's already coming together. And I'm not blending any of the colors together. I'm just trying to fill in whatever space is there. And last but not least, we need some orange so it'll match our candy corn. So I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this, but then I said, you know what, I'm just going to make something like right along the top here. Just a little bit. so fun when you can make one of those cards that you're just doing you're not really thinking about it you have an idea but you're just really not thinking about it I think you enjoy it a lot more I'm just staying right above that lilac okay and I have a border now and it matches all of my little artwork for my card. But I still think it needs one more thing. I'm going to go in with this darker marker, the violet. And I'm just going to make some little dots. There goes those dots again. I don't know what it is about them. I just, I love making them. And just something as simple as that is bringing the whole thing together.
And using my gel pen again, just in the green, and I'm just alternating on that green. Right in the middle, I'm making a, another dot. And I'm not doing every one of them, I'm just alternating. This is really looking good. Sometimes you just never know. And that completes our border. And so now it is time to start adding some of our things on here. this on here evenly and that looks good with that border look at that and this is just something I I've done before you don't have to do this but I just want to since it's just white on there I'm just gonna make a little bit a little bit of a border right around the edge of this card. Just be careful not to slip. going to start putting our jar on first and I'm going to mount that on there and I want it to be kind of dumping out my candy corn put some of my mounting squares on here First, I was just going to lay it flat on the card, and I just wasn't sure. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to mount it. I think it'll give it a little bit more definition. Okay, and I want that to come down like this. That way my candy corn is kind of spilling out. And then I'm going to start putting my candy corn on here. So at first I wasn't sure if I wanted my um, candy corn to be mounted, each one. But then I said, you know what, I'll alternate. The ones inside the jar, I won't mount them. I'll just kind of randomly place them. And then the ones on the outside, I'm going to mount those. using my crafters tape to put these on here. I love the way those colors are coming together. So I want my candy corn going every which way. I'm kind of piling these up on each other. I like that layered look on there. Now these others, I've got six more. These are gonna be mounted. I just want this one coming right outside the jar. And so that's the outer part, just right there. Kind of spilling out.
This is probably one of my most detailed cards. Thought it'd be nice to have one in the corner there. And this one just sitting right on top of that. And this one wants to be a little bit stubborn. Okay, and now we're going to put our lid on. And I want the lid to kind of sit kind of on an angle, as if the lid just came right off. So it looks kind of fun but I also want that to be mounted. This card is going to have a lot of dimension. And look how adorable that is. That's a lot of detail. And now I need a little sentiment. So I'm going to get some scraps here. See if that will fit. It looks like that's going to fit on there. And this says, it's all about the candy. Yes, it is. Especially during the holidays. And I want this to be a little bit... Kind of toward the center, but I could actually cut some of those edges off. And that is so cute. Look how adorable that is. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Yeah, I'm not being exact. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And this is going to need a little bit of a border around it. And if you see the detail on this, it's got little lines in there. So I'm going to fill that in in orange, and that will tie our colors together. I'm just going to put some orange right inside of there. Just a little bit. I like the details on these on this lettering. I'm just very lightly shading that in just to give it a little bit more color. This card is quite detail oriented. I want it to have a border because I don't think it would look as good with just a plain white. So I'm going to take the green and just go along the outside. So the very thin border. And this is ready to be mounted on our card. And look how cute that looks. All those colors really tie in. And I want this to be at an angle, so I'm just going to put it right here. And look how adorable that is. And all the colors tie into each other. 
I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe, like, and comment below. I hope this card inspired you to make one of your own and just be creative with it. Thanks for joining me. Bye.